there's something happening above the storms. A flash, a shape, a burst of red light that climbs up, not down. They don't crackle like normal lightning. They don't follow the rules. For most of human history, no one even knew they were real. But now, we have the cameras, the science, and the sky is finally revealing one of its most bizarre secrets. Red sprites, silent, towering bolts of electricity that reach towards space. They've been caught over the US, Japan, South America, and high above the roof of the world, Tibet. But what are they? And why are they showing up more than ever before? Red sprites are a rare type of lightning that appear in the mesosphere, between 50 and 90 kilometers, 30, 55 miles above Earth. They're nothing like regular lightning. Sprites don't strike the ground. They burst upward in red, pink, or purple flashes that stretch for tens of kilometers in height. They often look like jellyfish tentacles or even upside down trees. They last only milliseconds and they're nearly invisible to the human eye. Unless you're looking from far away in very dark skies with the right equipment. They're part of a class of phenomena called transient luminous events or TLEs. Sprites, blue jets, elves, halos, strange names for stranger events. And for decades, they were considered impossible. Before 1989, sprites were just rumors. Pilots would report strange lights above thunderstorms, flashes going upward. Scientists dismissed them. Optical illusions, maybe. Reflections. Imagination. Then, during a test flight over the Midwest US, a research team accidentally captured one on tape. The frame showed it clearly. A giant red flash above a thunderstorm cloud, stretching higher than anyone thought lightning could go. Suddenly, all the myths became real, and the hunt for sprites began. Since that first sighting, red sprites have been spotted in many corners of the globe. Some of the most active locations include the United States, Great Plains, Midwest. The central US is a sprite hotspot, especially in summer. Massive supercells and mesoscale storm systems produce powerful lightning that triggers sprites, especially positive cloud-to-ground bolts, the kind sprites love. Japan, Pacific coastlines. Japan's coastal storms and typhoons often create the right conditions. In fact, many of the first high-speed videos of sprites came from Japanese observatories and satellites. South America, Brazil, and Argentina. Here, sprites have been seen above large Amazonian storm systems. Researchers often use balloon-based or satellite data to study them. Europe, especially over Spain, France, and Italy. Sprites have even been spotted over the Mediterranean. European teams have documented sprite clusters and even rare events like sprite halos and blue jets. And then, there's Tibet. In 2022, photographers Dong Xuchang and Angel An filmed something that stunned the scientific world. A single storm that produced 105 red sprites, including rare ghost sprites and symmetrical jets that had never been seen in such detail before. The high altitude of the Tibetan Plateau, over 5,000 meters, 16,000 feet, offers an unmatched view. Less air, less pollution, more sky. It's like being halfway to space and the perfect place to watch the atmosphere come alive. Catching a red sprite isn't like photographing a sunset. You can't see them with the naked eye most of the time. You need a clear, dark sky, a storm in the distance, and a high frame rate camera capable of shooting in low light. That's exactly what Dong and Angel used in Tibet. And they didn't just capture sprites, they recorded dozens in perfect clarity. Their footage went viral and drew the attention of scientists who later confirmed that many of the sprites were linked to positive lightning strikes detected by satellite. It was the most detailed and concentrated sprite event ever filmed in Asia. Sprites aren't just cool to look at, they're important. They affect the electrical balance of the upper atmosphere, might interfere with radio communications and GPS signals, possibly connect to cosmic rays and solar activity. Some scientists even believe they could teach us about plasma physics, atmospheric chemistry, and how lightning evolves in ways we don't fully understand yet. The more we study sprites, the more we realize how little we know about what happens above the clouds. We live our lives under storms, worrying about the rain, the thunder, the flashes we can see, 
But above those clouds, in the silent spaces where the air is thin and the sky turns black, the planet is alive in ways we never imagined. Sprites, ghosts, jets, lightning that climbs to the edge of space, and all of it happening right over our heads, in plain sight, but almost always unseen. So, what do you think about red sprites? Are they just rare weather? Or something more? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Got a strange, unexplained phenomenon you'd like us to uncover next? Drop your ideas down below. Your suggestion could become our next episode. And if you enjoyed this journey into the strange side of science, help us keep going. Hit like, subscribe, and tap the bell so you don't miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay curious, stay bold. This is Boom, Crazy World.